why is this historic yacht up for sale? Um, well, basically the charity that runs it have run out of money due to Covid and not been able to um, raise funds and everything's dried up. The amount of money that we had that we could earn from different things has dried up. So unfortunately um, the yard bill has gone up. They've been very helpful with it but we still got to find a way of paying it. And the only way we can do that is to sell it or sell a big portion of it. Would you prefer um, one one person to buy it and that's it or would you prefer a partner to come in? It would be nice if we had a partner to come in so we could carry on with the work with the youngsters. The, um, we'll be using it for sale training um, with the ultimate prize was sailing on Lively Lady, which we also look after. So how much more work is there to be done? Not a vast amount, mostly painting the hull. Um, the main thing we need now is a new engine. Um, most of the rigging is okay, the mast is outside on the rack, um, needs a little bit of work to it, but mostly, most of the work is done to the boat. Steve, tell me, give me a little bit of the history of Robinson's Golly, because it's quite, quite a famous yacht, isn't it? It was sailed um, across the Atlantic in the All-Star Race by Claire Francis. She borrowed the boat and then went on to sail around the world in one of the Whitbread races. Would it be nice if she brought it back? I think it would be nice if the money arrives. I, I don't believe that she's got much interest in the boat at the moment, um, or in sailing at all. Have you had any dealings with her at all? None at all. Never met the lady. She was interested, of course. Will, will you be approaching her, do you think? We hadn't had any plans to, but um, anything soft. Anything that we can think of that will help would be good. Are you hoping for a bright future for Robinson's Golly? Well, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It's been around a long time, it's been used, it's a nice boat to sail. It's been across the Atlantic, it's been all around the Baltic with previous owners. Um, we took it around Britain with a load of youngsters on a few years back. It would be great to get it back out sailing again. How did the charity acquire this boat? Um, eight of us bought it. Um, and gave it to the charity to use for tra sail training about 12 years ago. Time's come when it's you know, it's just an endless pit of money. We need to find from somewhere else or sell it. Came into the shed nearly two years ago um, with a view to spending about six months doing it. About two thirds of the way through that, um, we were asked to do some work to another old boat, being paid for, and that paid the rent keeping it in here and built up a bit of cash surplus to pour, buy the engine and other items. Unfortunately, um, due to Covid, the work stopped just before lockdown and it's not um, taken off since and obviously we don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen until sometime in the spring and by that time the bill will be um, untenable. And what sort of price is she up for sale for? Well, only enough to clear all the debts obviously and um, maybe put some money back in the charity. So what sort of figure are you looking at? Well, we hadn't actually put a figure on it, to be honest, um, but I would like to think we could get 10, 15,000 for her. For somebody, that's a real bargain, isn't it? It is. It is. You know, if, if I had the money, I wouldn't want to buy it myself. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't. I spent it all on the boat. Have you got a message you'd like to send to Claire Francis? Um, well, I hope she's well and still looks, uh, looks after the boat and likes to see it again, but you'd never know. Might come and see it. She might even buy it. Maybe.